If you enjoy watching Common Ground online, please consider making a tax-deductible donation at lptv.org. Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the Vote of the People November 4th, 2008. During the summer of 2016, my friend Darwin Sumner invited me to film him and a family with a foreign exchange student from Spain fishing at a pristine lake on the Red Lake Nation. So I drove from Bemidji up 89, past the casino, to meet Darwin and this family where they were purchasing their licenses. From the courthouse, we were off to a stocked lake deep in the forests of the Red Lake Nation. I gotta move over that way, I gotta back the thing down there. Darwin prepared his boat and the family for a morning on the water. From uh, Red Lake, Minnesota. Um, my taxpayer name is Darwin Sumner um, from Red Lake. I'm uh, hereditary chief. I come into the hereditary chief uh, last March when uh, my, my father, John Sumner Sr., passed away, and uh, I got to uh, take over for him as eldest son. Last summer we took a special young man named Joaquin fishing with us. And Joaquin is from Spain, and we took him up to Red Lake and did some trout fishing. Ready? Yep. Ready to go. Oh, it wasn't a skipper. Is the plug in? Huh? The plug in? The boat? Did you put the plug in? Dude, you better reel it back in. We might. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So, my name is Joaquin Gonzalez Iribarre and I was born in January 2002. My mom is Isia Iribarre and my dad, Anulfo Gonzalez. Uh, last summer, I went to Minnesota as an exchange student and I went fishing to Red Lake and it was one of the best experiences of my whole life. I highly recommend it. Where are you at? Where am I at? And how are we doing the interview? So I'm uh, uh, in, my, in my house in Spain, in Madrid, and New York, uh, I'm in Minnesota, and we are doing it this via Skype, and we are recording this. So, you know, you can do interviews through all around the world. People who want to come enjoy the great outdoors in Red Lake fishing, they have to be with a tribal member. The tribe has several guides that they hired, but the main, mo most important thing is you gotta have a, a Red Lake member with you who's a registered guide with the tribe in order to go fishing. So bringing Joaquin up to Red Lake and him being from Spain, I, I just figured, you know, we got a little part of the world up in Red Lake, you know, with our reservation. So it's just a little small part we got. And we want to share that with people, be, no matter where they're from, you know, just kind of showing them around the res, doing, showing some culture stuff and where we're at and who we are, do a little fish and have a little fun and share some stories with each other. When they told me we were going to go fishing with Darwin and with his grandson, I was told so many stories about that, that he's so nice to kids, that he teaches very good to kids and that he's a great person. My experience with Joaquin was, you know, like with any other kid, you know, it's just kids are the same no matter where they're from. You know, they all want to have fun, learn stuff. So I brought my grandson along to help me out a little bit. You know, my grandson's name is Landon, and I taught him how to fish, and I asked Landon to teach Joaquin and the other guy how to cast, so when we were out there, we wouldn't have hooks flying around, but so Joaquin fit right in with us, and he, he took up the fishing, you know, in no time, but I think he got the first one, actually, so. So we're gonna try to kind of change up some hooks out here. We picked a good day. We couldn't have picked a better day to go fishing. That day it was sunny out and no bugs. Once you get out on the water, there's no bugs. And, you know, this, the wind picked up a little bit after a while because it was a little hot, but fish were biting really good. I think we caught like 30-some fish. Look at them. Look how clear that water is. You can see all the way down to the bottom still, guys. Yeah, that's just beautiful. Yeah. Do you have water that clear in Spain, Joaquin? Nope. I didn't think so. Uh, to go fishing with my host family was a great experience. All those sites, it was 
a great thing, you know, that lake with clear water and with all of those trees around and it was very nice with no buildings, you could see it wasn't air polluted and it, it was very nice. Now you, with that experience, I got to know what pollution was doing to uh, the forest near here and in Minnesota and everything because I'm a Boy Scout and I get to go like one one time each month to the mountains and I know uh, pollution is doing very bad things to our planet. It's great. I I love the lake. It's very very nice, and I um I have a great opportunity to uh, learn how to fish very well. He got up there. We went in the woods, and he was saying, "Wow, I've never been way out in the woods like this." And it seems like he had a good time with the okay, like the nature there. aspect of it. He was asking a lot of questions about the woods and the people and the and the land we're at, and he had a good respect for and knowledge of uh, nature. All those sites, it was very nice. I went fishing one time in the States, but I didn't catch anything. Landon, what is it like to uh, teach your new friend, Joaquin, how to fish? Very fun. Okay. You're like my teacher now. Yeah, yeah Landon did a good job with uh, Henry and Joaquin. Joaquin, uh, was asking Landon a lot of questions as we we're doing the whole filming, you know, and Landon was more than happy to share his two cents. Landon's been at it since uh, since he's been two years old, so. And I didn't teach him that. He just, one day I asked Landon, I said, who taught you that? Well, been watching TV. So he learns a lot from in fishermen and stuff like that. But he was pretty, really proud of himself for helping out Joaquin, you know, catch his first fish. And I was really proud of Landon, so. Like a grandpa should, right? <laughs> We're going to try some butterworms. Butter and if you could take that hook off of there, please. We had Joaquin fishing for rainbow trout and, and brook trout. And it's very simple technique. It's just a plain tungsten, smallest jig you can get with a little uh, butterworm or waxworm on it and maybe some cut up earthworms. Yeah, and we were fishing pretty deep that day because it was kind of warm and we started off shallow but we found the one biting there and we moved out to like 30 feet and then we started getting and we caught some nice ones that day. Oh, okay, real, oh, real, 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 real. Look out, Landon. Real. Landon. Net Landon, net Landon, net Landon. Wait, wait, hold up a second. Not too fast, not too fast. I'll tell you, there you go, you're good, you're good. Okay. This is a fish. Oh my God. Hey! hey there we go. Look at this thing. Okay, hold on, I got the camera. Clip the bail. Oh, yeah. Good job. Way Look at five. Well, we got the camera out here. We got to show your first fish. When I first like felt that there was a fish in my hook, I thought like it can't be real. Joaquin. What? Come hold over it. here. Oh my God. Come over here. Hold it. Come hold over it. here. Come over here. Come over here. Over there by Darwin there. Good work, you guys. You think it will be like more hard and everything, but it's very soft and you get to, and that way I started saying, rail, 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 and I started doing, and when I got the first fish, I thought it wasn't, I thought it was a very, it was going to be a very, very small fish, but I think it was the biggest one I ever caught. So what's it feel like to have caught a fish? It feels awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing when you caught him? Fishing. Could you describe what you were doing? I was just putting, uh, getting up and down the fishing rod. Jigging it, Bob. <laughs> yeah, jigging it. Did a good job. You see how they kind of just hit and start reeling, and they, they pretty much hooked themselves and coming up. Good job, Joaquin, and you're from Spain now? Yeah. <clears throat> what kind of fish they got in Spain? Uh, not much really. They, uh, in Madrid, we don't have... Oh, Madrid? Yeah, I'm wow, from Madrid. Wow, that's a pretty famous place. Yeah. Okay, let's try to get another one, shall we? Joaquin caught a fish and he was all excited. You can see the kids, you know, they get all excited and they start really trying to get that fish up as fast as they can, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't work, you know, sometimes they fall off, but that's all about fishing. See how slow that is? Okay, you kind of like on the bottom. Right there. 
And then the boot, boat moves and then we kind of get to different depths. So just leave the line right there. But when Joaquin, I, I remember him saying like, wow, that's the biggest fish I've ever caught. You know, that's the first fish I've ever caught. So that kind of makes everybody feel good in the boat about helping somebody else learn how to catch a fish. Most times, from my experience, once you get a kid fishing, he's hooked, you know. He's going to come back out and fish some more with us, so. Oh, I seen that bite. Don't mess with that. Don't mess with it. Oh. Leave it right there. You had a bite while you were messing with it. There you go, real. A big one? Yeah. Okay, easy. Just hold the rod right there. Hold it steady. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh my god. Okay, lift it up. Oh, sorry. Lift it up right here. Oh, I cannot do lift it. it up. Just lift it. Lift the rod up. But don't take it to the top. Look at that one! Don't, 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 is uh, really important so you know they can carry that on to when they have children when they get to be young adults and have children and they can teach their kids to fish. <laughs> That's a huge one, Joaquin. Yep. Okay. All right, put them back in and let them swim. Goodbye. Yeah, good job. Awesome. To me, fishing, being on the water, it's really a like, spiritual aspect of it to me. Spending time out there, it just feels good. I think the better you feel about yourself in life and that water really has that healing effect on you. And I've seen where kids actually feel a lot better after a time out on the water, you know. It kind of wears them out a little bit, but still that fresh air is good for them. And a lot of times they go home and they just go right to sleep, but they're always talking about wanting to go fishing again. And the main thing is they're, they're out there enjoying the outdoors, having a good time. And the spiritual aspect of it is really, you know, what what gets me out there and, and just even catching a fish is just a bonus to get out there you know once you learn a few simple techniques presentations whatever you're on certain like bass walleyes crappies you can pretty much go any place and catch them with the same techniques there you go Joaquin good job man this guy's on fire and you're from Spain okay I like it just real don't do anything fancy with the rod that's a nice one now when I say lift up, just lift up slow, lift up slow. There you go, good job. Yeah. <laughs> if you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org.